Hello everyone, in this video we are going to factory reset MacBook Pro to default mode. If you have a MacBook Pro, you want to factory reset, then this video will take you there step by step how you can factory reset. But before we go to the process, if you haven't subscribed my channel, please click on the subscribe button, then click on the ring bell button so you can get the latest video notification from my channel. So now let's start with the factory reset. First, it can be many many reasons you want to sell your MacBook or this your MacBook not working the way you want. So you want to reset. So first step you want to do if you have a uh, your information, your data you want to save it, you would like to backup. You can do either way. You can backup your uh, iCloud account or you can have uh, an external uh, storage device, USB drive, hard drive according to your data size and then you simply plug into your macbook and you can copy paste or you can just drop it in like whatever you want to save it once you're done you back up your data you just eject your hard drive or usb drive then you go to system preference that's really important steps you have to have do it as a uh, can uh, help you to arrange your MacBook Pro safely without you losing any information and without you giving your information away if you want to sell your MacBook. So now we are on system preference. So over here, the one thing you want to do, you want to uncheck find my Mac. Like I have it done, then it will ask your Apple ID password. You fill your Apple ID password and you will be signed out from find my macbook you have to have do it if you want to sell it even it's better if you want to keep it because it's not going to bother you when you try to uh, back login just in case you mess up your password or something you can log in and anytime you come back now we're done with find my mac the next step we're going to do we are going to open itunes so once you open iTunes and iTunes, we have to deauthorize our MacBook device from iTunes account. Some people they authorize already, some people not. But if you have a use iTunes on your MacBook, then probably you have already authorized iTunes to your device. Then that's the also most important part. You need to deauthorize from iTunes. From iTunes all the way on the top menu you will see account from the account when you click you will see authorization then it says deauthorize this computer you have to click on deauthorize this computer it will ask you your uh, same thing Apple ID uh, email and password you have to put your information in once you're done then you click on uh, next or OK whatever the option it will take you okay now we have a deauthorize our MacBook already. The next step we are going to bring with the camera, not with the screen recording. For this one, we have to turn off our MacBook. We're gonna turn off completely MacBook and we are going to press and hold the command key and R key from our keyboard if we are going to keep this MacBook. If you want to sell this MacBook, then you will press option key, command key, R key, three keys together, then start your MacBook. Once you start it, and both options you will get to this folder this window at this window we are going to select the disk digitality we're gonna click continues once you press continue and the next window it will give you information about your hard drive on your MacBook you want to make sure you are on your uh, hard drive on your MacBook hard drive the way I have a selected already you have to select the hard drive then on the top line we're gonna click on erase by clicking on erase you need to know that we are erasing everything from our MacBook to factory default we have to erase everything so once you click on erase it will ask you one more option and it will give you the name of a hard drive you are going to erase and then you will go to continue or the way you want so let's click on erase and it will read your hard drive I have a selected already I say erase so we'll take a couple seconds it will erase everything from your hard drive then 
it will say done. Once it says done, you just simply close this window from the top by pressing that red cross button on the left hand top corner. It's done. So just simply close it, finish and close. Now we are going to choose the option is called reinstall Mac OS. Click next. Now our Mac operating system Sierra start installation it will be starting. Press continue. As we know, there are going to be a couple things. We have to click yes, agree. We have to agree with a couple stuff. Like the way we are installing operating system, you have to follow all the options according to your need. And we are going to install our MacBook operating system. I'm also staying with the camera so I can record everything. What are the common things it's asking? Over here asking about the country or whatever your country is in, you're gonna select then you probably want to log into your Wi-Fi because it's gonna factor reset whatever the Mac operating system is going to pick up from uh, online you simply click and uh, fill your uh, password for your Wi-Fi network and just keep going and it will take a couple seconds your MacBook will be ready now your MacBook ready and it's already factory default. If you want to sell it, you can stop here. You don't need to do anything, but I just want to show one more thing you need to do after that. Like say I have iMovie over here. I tried to install this software, but my system was giving me error. iMovie cannot be installed because my operating system is too old. Like the version of my operating system is old. So what happened actually when you factory default your MacBook or any Apple uh, like Apple MacBook Air or anything a go to default mode means like when you first time bought it. So what we have to do we have to go to our like uh, Apple this MacBook and you can check your operating system. Uh, what kind of operating system you have it. What version is it. So what we have to do then to make the new apps installation and everything we have to upgrade our MacBook operating system you can go to Apple store you can find new MacBook operating system like upgraded one and you can upgrade that one so now our MacBook is ready to use that's all for today thank you for watching if you like my video please like share comment and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching